uh, if f x is a differentiable that is uh, f prime x uh, is a function or f x y equals f x is differentiable maybe on some interval uh, this means that f prime x is exists on the interval we call that y equals fx is differentiable that is the derivative exists everywhere on the interval and on an interval then and the the first derivative function uh, we can uh, maybe we can uh, differentiate the first derivative that means maybe the second this called the second derivative the first <coughs> first we take the uh, the first derivative is a function so we can take the derivative for the first uh, derivative this always write as y double prime equals f double prime x this is called the second derivative of y equals fx uh, sometimes we write as the second derivative as double prime of f d square y dx square that is actually take the second take the second derivative take the derivative for the first derivative this is the, this is the second derivative Accordingly, we have third derivative. Because there's three prime and d cube y d x cube. Right? That's the different notation. That's the third derivative. Uh, sometimes we write as d square f as d cube f. And the uh, nth derivative for nth derivative, we use uh, a parenthesis as a not, not, not the. Uh, that's the different different with the nth power. We use a parenthesis here. D of n y d x of n. All right as d n f. So there's uh, nothing new. We just take the uh, take the derivative, take the uh, differentiate h. We just differentiate the first derivative. So let's take some examples. The first example is if f x equals uh, x sin x find the second derivative the solution is 
first uh, we want if we want to find the second derivative we have to find find the first derivative first the first derivative we take this is product rule as sine x plus x times cosine x then the second derivative just take the derivative again that is uh, cosine x plus as a uh, product rule again that is cosine x minus x sine x that is 2 cosine x minus x sine x that's the second derivative Uh, some functions can use induction to find the nth derivative. If y equals 1 over x, and the nth derivative of y, the solution is the first derivative, that is negative. 1 over x square. The second derivative that is x as uh, 2 over x cube. And the third derivative that is uh, 2 times 3 x of cube. That's negative negative q we can write it as first uh, next cube times uh, the first uh, yeah that is the negative 2 times 3 that's x cube and uh, y of fourth That is 2 times negative 3 times negative 4. That is x of cube. That's 4. That's 5. I use induction. We, we know, we can see that the first one, that is a negative 1 over x square. That's uh, the second we, we can write as negative 1, negative 2 over x cube. So the force that is negative 1, negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 4 over x of 5. That is negative 1 of 4 that's 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 x to the 5 and this can be read as negative 1 to the power of 4 that's 4 factorial x to the 5 so use the induction we find the y uh, the nth derivative that is negative 1 to the power of n as times n factorial over x to the power of n plus 1 that's the nth, nth product and uh, nth derivative we use the induction mathematical induction to find this one find the solution that's the uh, that's the common uh, function that is, or general function, but for some uh, type of functions that lack implicit function, there's a little more uh, one uh, one more step step to find the to find the second derivative or third derivative.
if the function is divided, uh, defined by uh, an equation x if x times cosine y equals y then find d square y dx square how to find the second derivative for implicit function the first first we need to find the uh, first derivative use the uh, implicit differentiation so take the uh, take the, uh, or differentiate both sides uh, with respect to x we have cosine y minus x times sine sine y times dy by dx equals dy by dx we solve for the dy by dx that is cosine y equals 1 plus x sine y times dy dx so we got the first derivative that is cosine y over 1 plus x sine y. Then how to find the second derivative? The second derivative is just uh, takes the derivative with respect to x. So the left hand side as the second derivative, the right hand side we that is d over dx uh, takes the differentiate for the whole term with respect to x. And there's y. There's y in the term. So we, uh, as before, we just regard y as a function of x. Now use the pro, uh, use the quotient rule. One plus x sine y to the power of two, and the derivative derivative of long later. That is negative sine y times dy by dx and times the denominator. Minus the denominator times the derivative of denominator. The derivative for the denominator is sine y plus x cosine y times dy over dx now use the uh, use the formula for the first derivative or insert this uh, this expression to the second derivative so that is negative sine y times 1 plus x sine y and then times dy over dx that is cosine y 1 plus x sine y minus cosine y as sine y plus x cosine y times cosine y over 1 plus x sine y then divide by 1 plus x sine y to the power of 2 uh, this can be cancelled oh, that is sine y 
whole thing y negative. Um, minus is cosine y minus uh, sine y times cosine y and then times here that is x cosine y square times cosine y 1 plus we can write as x crossing cube y 1 plus x sine y 1 plus x sine y to the power of 2 and that is We can uh, we can multiply both uh, denominator and denominator by one plus x sine y. So that is one plus x sine y to the cube. Mm. That is negative two sine y cosine y times one plus x sine y. And, and minus 2x sine y square. Mm. That's 2, oh, sorry. Uh, yes, uh, this is 2, negative 2 sine y cos y uh, times, times this term. First we get 1 and 2x sine 2y then cosine y minus x cosine y cube sine y cosine y cosine y cube yeah just leave it that Simplified. Uh, we have negative cosine y two sine y plus two x sine y square plus o x cosine y square one plus x sine y to the power of three. That's for the implicit implicit differentiation. If we find want to find the second derivative for the implicit differentiation, we have regard the y as a function. Uh, regard the y as a function of x in the first derivative. Here. 